Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to grant uh, executive permissions in SQL Server 2017 version. First of all, uh, let's see what is, what is mean by executive. Executive permission means uh, it only uh, run uh, execute the stored position which are available in the database. And the database level, I am giving the executive permissions. For this, uh, what I am doing, select the instance and go to security. Now click login, uh, create a new login. I am test user 01. I am creating SQL authentication. Our password is 123. Now I am not selecting any public, uh, any login role, and I am not map mapping to the Adventures Works database. I am deleting this DB owner. I am not selecting anything. Any okay, just I'm in the database role. I'm selecting public. Okay, click OK. So when we create this, a user also created in the database role. Now let's see. Uh, go to database and go to the databases security and users. Right now there is no user in in the adventure works. In adventure works. Now after creating this. A hey, test user 01 is also created and with the login name with the instance level of login. It means that this login is mapped with the this uh, database user. Now I am working on database level, right? So right click on databases and go to security. Now select on roles, create now new database role. Now db underscore execute click ok ok now select uh, database and go to properties here click on permissions click search browse select the role click apply here come down here check for execute permissions execute grant permission and click ok now come to again security instance level security double, double click test user and go to click here user mapping now select this db execute and why uh, db underscore uh, select that uh, db owner click ok uh, now we want to test. I am going to disconnect this Hyderabad uh, SQL authentication test user 01 password is 123. Okay, if I click this, I will get an error. Why? Because I don't have any permissions. For your reference, I am showing the test is not accessible. Okay, but uh, we have connected with the public role, right? So that is the database width is visible. Now go to um, Adventure Works and Tables. Here, the tables are also, also visible. Why? Because we only have executive permissions. It means we only execute the stored positions which are available in the databases now go to programmability exit store positions now select any one of these execute store positions okay and we can execute all these store positions now when you try to or create one table or anything it will give an error right so uh, sample I am selecting start from uh, dbo dbo dot mm, something uh, table is I don't know otherwise uh, go to table here you are, you are not logged as a database owner or system administrator you may not be able to save changes to the table it means we don't have a 
create table permission to create the tables and to view the definitions to, uh, to view the queries or the views and the tables we require select permission it means uh, we are granted only executive permissions it means we can only execute the stored feature processes which are available in the in the database in the database only if you try to uh, try to create the uh, databases new database test db2 right it will throw an error create database permission is denied in the master okay so it means uh, we successfully grant the permissions on the adventure works 2014 in sql server 2017 version thanks for watching this video if you like this video subscribe to my channel